Ever wonder how a spring is made? Watch this machine turns a simple metal rod into one of the most essential components in engineering. What you're looking at is a manual lathe machine in action, spring store, and release energy, and they're literally everywhere. From the suspension in your vehicle to the ballpoint pen in your hand, the humble spring does a lot more than you might think. Here's how it all works. The lathe machine spins the metal rod at high speed while the operator manually controls the cutting tool, gradually forming the coiled shape of the spring. The machine's rotating spindle is driven by precise hand movements, making sure every coil of the spring is perfectly spaced and uniform. This level of control is what makes a manual lathe so special. Unlike automated machines, this relies on skill and craftsmanship. Did you know the lathe is one of the oldest machine tools in the world? It's been around for thousands of years. What started with wood turning in ancient Egypt has evolved into the precision machines we use today. And while CNC machines have taken over most industries, manual lathes are still popular because they give engineers more control and versatility, especially for custom jobs like this spring. Now, why are springs so important? They absorb shock, control movement, and can store energy. They're used in car suspension, industrial machines, medical devices, and even in space exploration. You may not see them, but they're everywhere, keeping things running smoothly and efficiently. Without this basic yet brilliant invention, so much of modern life would grind to a halt. And just like that, a new spring is born. From a solid metal rod to a finely tuned component, the manual lathe proves that old-school engineering is still as vital as ever. So next time you bounce on a trampoline or click a ballpoint pen, remember, there's a little bit of lathe magic in there. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing insights into the world of engineering.